Hey guys, welcome back to Bacon's Base Place. Today is number 15 of our 50 basic slap base patterns. Today we're gonna be furthering a concept that we've done before in another one, which was slap, pop, slap. And we had focused on alternate slapping, how no matter what the actual rhythm is, you're playing your hand when you're slapping, for the most part, like when you're strumming a guitar, should keep this alternating motion going. Well, this is another one that does that. Slap, or pop, slap, pop, we're doing today. It's the 15th pattern. Pop, slap, pop, pop, slap, pop, pop, slap, pop. So usually I like to do these three note patterns, and I've been doing most of them sort of in like a, a four meter, right? Where I'm going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But today I actually want to go in a bit more of a triple meter and go in a six, eight timing type of deal. Um, where I'm going one, two, or one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. This way, in not having that rest on the fourth beat and having the meter completely full with notes, it almost sounds symmetrical. Like if I don't count it, it's just going to sound totally straight. So one of the most um, common and one of my favorite techniques to use with the odd time signatures that we're doing like this is you play it over two meters and then you just kind of have the other one is upside down or backwards or inverted or however you like it. Um, it, it sort of syncopates a little bit and that makes it feel opposite and it makes it feel like the other half of the first riff. This one is the A, this one's the B and together you put them and they sound normal because sometimes like an odd meter can be really hard if you're going one, two, three, 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 and it's kind of really jerky like that, and you have to cut the meter in half every time, because the common time that we're all used to hearing doesn't cut on that meter, you know? So if you do it twice, it makes it not quite sound so cutting, like one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. A good way to get this alternating things is we can pat it with our hands. I'm going to pat this one here, I'm going to pat this one here, and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One, two, three, four, five, six. So. You'll notice when we're doing this popping, that the one alternates. If we have to do it two times to make it symmetrical, the one of the things to, to help easily understand this concept is when you're doing it, the ones start on the opposite hands. When I'm patting like that, I go one, two, three, and that started on my right hand. Then the next one goes one, two, three, starts on my left hand. So right, two, three, left, two, three, right, two, three, left, two, three, right, two, three, left, two, three. And that sort of happens with most odd time signatures, and it's a really cool way to to work around them and make them sound a little more fluid and a, and a little less uh, sharp and cutting. If you like the sharp and cutting thing, and there's tons of times where that's great, um, like in, in Adam Neely's song, uh, Sequence Start, and he's got it in this crazy five meter, I think maybe they, they uh, conceptualize it as quintuplets, I think he said in that video. Um, but there's one part where he's got these crazy shots in five. Just <laughs> That's like a 5-8 thing and it's super shot right and it's not really doing the um the symmetrical thing that i'm talking about but it's kind of meant to be a little bit more more cutting in that way and more more jarring i think for that song everything about it is kind of meant to do that so it's it's complimentary but this kind of way of doing it is a little more flowing um so without yapping about it some more i'm gonna try and stick to like a d shape probably a d minor I might change it up a little bit i'm just gonna have a little jam i got this 6-8 metronome at 80 beats per minute going on YouTube. And I'm just going to groove. I'm not going to do anything too crazy. I'm just going to groove and I'm trying to illustrate this, this opposite alternating slapping thing because the alternating really never stops, especially in the six meter when we don't have the rest. It just goes and goes and goes. So it's, it can start to sound, uh, sound a little undefined, which is a really useful trick you can use if you want to sort of capture people in your music. If you want to if you want people to, 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 to go like, oh, what's that? And to get caught in a trance that they don't necessarily understand what's going on, but something's just happening to them. It's a really good response to get out of the listener to your music. And odd time signatures that are a little ambiguous 
are a really cool way to do that if you can flow with it really nicely and make it not super jarring. Um, so I'm going to try and attempt that. Here we go. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. sort of alternate slapping in odd time signature. I've been using 6-8. So again, it's just taking out that four rest. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Gets kind of co cool and gets kind of ambiguous and flowy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you around tomorrow. Have a good one. <laughs>